Boys Podcast. Welcome back. Tammy Garrett here. We've got a special episode for you today. We're going to do a movie review of a Smith Boys classic, yep. Point Break. Smith Boys classic. So we're doing Point Break in our first ever movie review, and we're not doing the uh, remake. We're going to. Oh do yeah, the, we ain't uh, going to touch on the remake. We're going to do the classic. Yep. Point Break. Keanu Reeves, Patrick Swayze, the classic, From Laurie the, Petty. Uh, Angelo Pap is played by Gary Busey. Came out in the early 90s, I yeah. would, or 94 maybe? I thought it was 91. Was it? Yeah, it was Early 90s, first half of the 90s. Um, it's a cool. surfing movie. It's it's a surfing, bank-robbing movie uh, made by Catherine Bigelow. Um, she also was involved in like the Terminator like action movies back then. And um, it's just really kind of become a cult classic over... Over, over the many years, it's, yeah, it's been it's, out the last thirty years or whatever. Right? Over year, over the years since its inception, yeah, it's yeah, kind of become. And, and, and brother and I were really on this bandwagon many, many years ago when it first came out, and it's kind of weird because it's like you see these T-shirts with these quotes on it, and like Utah, give me two. Utah, give me two. You know, and we, me and brother used to have it on DVD, and we'd watch this movie. We had the pure adrenaline edition, didn't we not? <laughs> I think, so, <laughs> I think yeah. that's what it was called. It was the pure adrenaline edition right at the top. And uh, boy, it was it. You know, I mean, it was great. We've seen this movie. <laughs> and it had the God. captions on it. We've seen this movie so many times. It's one of them movies that we you, we know every we line. We used to watch it Christmas Eve every day. Yep, every, 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 every year we watch Christmas it on Christmas Eve. Eve. Just, I don't know why. Just because, because it was such a classic. When we were younger. It's very, we, in, we were kids. It's a very, it's very quotable movie. Yeah. So, you know, we, a lot of our videos and podcasts will throw in, you know, quotes in here. It, that it, would you say it's also on. just like the, the, the scenery? and it was, Is that the cinematography? Is that what you would call it? Just, yeah. You know, the backdrop of the surfing. And then yeah. not only that, it's the lifestyle too, right? Yeah. Like it's the lifestyle. It's like these people live on the, on the beach. They live to surf and all this stuff. It's like as a Michigan, you know, kid, you're like, oh man, that sounds so great. But... So basically, this movie, the plot of this movie is there is a group of bank robbers right. um, going around Los Angeles that are every year, every summer, they knock off some banks and rob some banks, and then they disappear for and a what year. Are they, what are they called? They're called the ex-presidents. Yeah. Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. We are the ex-presidents. This is, is the name of the, of them. is the name of the uh, this is group a, this of is, bank robbers. This is in the L.A. area. Yeah, and they wear they dress up in uh, like suits and they wear old rubber masks of old presidents like Nixon yes. and Jimmy Carter and JFK Ronald and Reagan. Ronald Reagan. Okay, Mr. Carter, LBJ. Mr. Nixon. Well, sorry, Johnny. Looks like you don't get to be president. Those um, are the four. And they're these, played by Patrick Swayze. Patrick is Swayze. The guy. He's Ronald Reagan in the whole thing. He's Bodie. He's, he, his character is Bodie. Bodazafa. Bodazafa. The other three guys, I don't know who the hell we are. <laughs> I don't know who the hell they are yeah, either. But, uh, and, and Roach was one guy's name. Uh, um, but anyway. Yeah, anyway. That's, that's neither here nor there. The yeah. point is is that these, uh, these bank robberies are going around in L.A. every year. And there's a new hotshot cop that joins the FBI, fresh out of Quantico, baby. And his name's Johnny Utah. <laughs> Johnny Utah. Former, former football player, quarterback star... From the Ohio State Buckeyes, number, number nine. nine. This is Johnny Utah, the Ohio State Buckeyes All Conference. Remember, number nine, man. How you <laughs> doing? Nice oh, to meet yeah. you. Jesus Christ, Johnny fucking Utah. Sorry, man. Didn't mean to get in your face. Number yep, nine. Johnny Utah. He's yep. played by Keanu Reeves. Keanu so Reeves. he's fresh out of Quantico. Joins the FBI. And this was when Keanu Reeves was just kind of starting to ascend. When you yeah, say, yeah, this was early in Keanu Reeves' career, early yeah. '90s. This is when he was like starting to be like, yeah, I think he's kind of he done. Kind of a he name. had done like Bill and Ted Ex Excellent and Bogus Adventures and stuff. So he was trying to create himself as like a serious character, yeah. right? Like he was trying to get into an action character. Yeah. Um. So he joins the FBI and joins the uh, I don't know. I guess it's the bank robbery division. Yeah. And uh, he gets partnered with Gary Busey, play, uh, who plays a great, great character, great character, Angelo Pappas, yeah, who's Angelo a veteran. Pappas. He's the veteran. Twenty two, twenty two years. Twenty two years on the job. <laughs> yeah. Twenty two years, uh, and he's been on the job. And LA has changed a lot since. LA then. has changed. Yeah, the air got the air got dirty, and the, the sex, sex got clean. clean. So. <laughs> 
22 years. Man, L.A. has changed a lot during that time. The air got dirty and the sex got clean. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, this is there's so many quotable... There's just one right there. Yeah, you know? there's, there's so many lines in the movie that are quotable. But uh, So they partner up, and they're trying to crack who is uh, knocking off all these banks over right. every year, okay? Right. Yep. And Gary Busey... And it's seasonal, right? Yeah, it's seasonal. It's over the summer, yeah, that these banks get knocked off. And then they disappear for a year, and then they come back in the summer again and rob mm -hmm. some more banks. And so Gary Busey has a... His character has a theory that the people robbing these banks are surfers, which... In the FBI, everybody thinks he's crazy. You think he's, but you know, he gets a bunch. There's of, no way these surfers, man, can pull this off. Yeah, there's like, no way a bunch the... of surfers are robbing all these banks and getting away with it every yeah, year. Okay, right. And they think he's crazy for you know he, he's a lunatic cop for thinking this. Yeah. And until he gives his theory to uh, Johnny Utah, and Johnny Utah is like, well, shit, man, it's, yeah, it's pretty good theory. It makes some sense. You know, these guys are not. He, he thinks they're surfers because it, it's it's seasonal. They're traveling on the waves where the waves come every year. OK, um, and I guess <clears throat> one of the uh, banks that got robbed had some type of wax when uh, guys, one of the one of the bank robbers shoe scuffs yeah. the counter yep. and they took a sample of it and saw that there's like a surfboard wax on the bottom of the shoe. Guy gets wax in his mustache, takes it off with his shoe. <laughs> guys waxing his mustache at the beach, gets sand in it, takes it off with a shoe, shoe scuffs the counter. Or would you just shut up? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shoe scuffs the counter. Yeah, shoe scuffs the counter. It's just so stupid that part of it. But keep uh, going. yeah, keep going. so that's that's the gist of of how they get to trying to think that the theory that the the ex presidents are a band of surfers. So Johnny Utah goes undercover uh, out to uh, Latigo Beach or in Venice Beach, wherever. Nice point break. Yeah, it's got a nice point break out there, uh, and, and he starts taking up surfing. To, to try and find a, a tight surfing group out there, okay? <laughs> Just listening to you explain it, it's like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he, he runs into some a surfing crew here or there that uh, he gets in trouble with. This the guy? Yeah. Okay. I know. This is where you tell me all about how locals rule and yuppie insects like me shouldn't be surfing the break and all that, right? <laughs> nope. That would be a waste of time. <laughs> We're just gonna fuck you up. <laughs> oh. That may or may not end up being the... the uh the uh, bank robbers <laughs> but eventually he gets in tight with this crew of uh uh surfers that he befriends with uh, patrick swayze's character bodie they become good friends and bodie kind of teaches him how to surf and uh johnny utah he meets oh yeah he meets Lori petty yeah tyler tyler, his gr uh, a girl. tyler and endicott tyler and endicott uh, blue hair black hair, <laughs> or, uh blue eyes black hair five foot six 130 pounds jesus utah that's his surfing contact <laughs> That is your surfing contact? Female, blue eyes, black hair, five foot six, 119 pounds. God, Utah. Yeah. yeah this it, is your surfing contact? <laughs> so he was saddled to find like a contact, an informant down mm -hmm. there on the beach, and he meets uh, he meets uh, Tyler. He meets uh, yeah. And she's Lori like Petty. Uh, you know, a woman, a pretty girl, or whatever. Like, yeah. They're, they're kind of busting. And they, over. they end, yeah, and they just end up kind of becoming an item. Yeah. Uh, and she introduces him to Bodie, really. Right. They go to a party, they hang out, become good friends. And Bodie sees Johnny Utah right away as like, this guy's an adrenaline junkie. Okay? <laughs> He's, like, Bodie sees that Johnny Utah is a guy yeah. that needs to, to see the ultimate thrill. You got the kamikaze look, Johnny. I've seen it. Bodie can smell it a mile away. He'll take you to the edge. Past. Hey, Bodie. Johnny has his own demons. Don't you, Johnny? Okay. Yeah. So he kind of like takes him under his wing and takes him on these adventures. They go skydiving and shit and teaches him how to surf at night, which is supposed to be like this big scary thing. And <laughs> um, 
hootie ha, whatever. You yeah. Know? No, yeah, you're doing good. Um, yep. And the, it, it finally dawns on Johnny Utah about, I don't know, what, two thirds of the way through the movie. Yeah. That hey man maybe this tight group that I'm hanging out with maybe these guys are are, are the bank guys. robbers because they're very close knit they're always doing stuff yeah together. very tight knit group yeah um, and he brings it to uh, Angelo Pappas Gary Busey and they start kind of staking them out and then they, they find out and Johnny Utah finds out this is yeah this is the guy these are the guys these are the guys yep. man these my friend guys. this is my boy my yeah. guy yep and yeah. then. And then Bodie and Patrick Swayze's character finds out that Johnny Utah is an FBI agent. Yeah. He is an FBI agent. I am an FBI agent. So now they both know who each other are, but well, they're not. But it, but they're trying to act like they don't know. Who well, they, it's an each important other is. part. It's an important part when they find out because remember that's when they're in the stakeout in front of that bank, and then they do the chase. You know, the huge chase where Johnny. Pulls the gun, ah, and he just fires off into the sky. Yeah, and that's when the next scene is, is like they're sleeping and stuff, and then they kind of come in, and they know that... He's a special agent. Yeah. And Johnny Utah knows that, that they're, they're the bank robbers. The bank robbers. robbers know that he's a special agent, and the special agent knows that they're the bank robbers. Yeah. Basically. So then they they, he, they come barging into his house, and they're like, okay, we're going to go skydiving. And then this is kind of coming to the culmination of the movie, right? Yeah, so probably the last yeah. half hour of the movie or so. Yeah. Well, first they take, yeah, they, they go skydiving. Um and they play this mind game with them because Patrick Swayze knows that Keanu Reeves knows that he's the bank robber, okay, if you, if you follow me there. And they're up there in the plane, and they give uh, Johnny Utah a parachute, and they say, this is going to be your parachute. And now Johnny Utah is thinking, well, shit, is this, is this parachute going to open? Right. You know, are they trying to kill me up here because they know who I am? Uh, and then they... The one guy grabs his parachute and he's like, "Ah, oh, you don't want that parachute, man. You want this one over here. This one's a lot better." And then he grabs him a different parachute. And then the other guy goes, "Nah, man, that one sucks. You want this all one." Right, all right, so they're kind right. of cycling him around, kind of getting in his head, you know. You're gonna jump or jerk off? <laughs> That's my man. Uh, but they end up jumping out of the plane and everything, and everything's cool. Um, they land on the ground, and uh, Patrick Swayze pulls Johnny Utah aside at the end, and they they kidnap his girlfriend. They kidnapped. Tyler. Tyler Petty, or uh, Tyler, uh, Lori yeah, Petty, yeah. they kidnapped Tyler, his girlfriend, in the movie. And they ain't going to release her until he helps them rob a bank before yeah, the end of the summer. One last bank before then they can they can run off yep. for the summer. Yep, so they uh, they get into a big bank robbery at the end. Um, and Patrick Swayze goes on his way, he flees. Big, and, big uh, shootout. Big shootout at the end. Pappas yeah. dies. Pappas dies and gets shot and killed at the airport. Yeah. Damn! Ah! No! As Patrick Swayze's going off. Um, and they fly over, uh, I want to say they're heading towards Mexico. Tijuana. Yeah, towards, yeah. yeah Mexico. And they uh, parachute out, go down yep. to the to the ground. Well, that's and, the uh, whole thing. Johnny jumps out without the parachute. Yeah, yeah. like that's the whole big part of this of the movie. He just he has this three fifty seven in his hand because Patrick Swayze throws the gun on the plane and he says, "What's he say? I know this is like ass in your mouth. You want me so bad? It's like yeah, ass in yeah, your mouth. Yeah. I know you want me so bad. It's like ass in your mouth, but not this time. <laughs> and then not this time." You don't get your man or something like that. And then he jumps out the plane and... And, and Patrick Swayze, this is part of his getaway, you know. Like, yeah. they're, they're going to Mexico. They rob the bank. And he jumps out of the plane and parachutes out. And John Utah's up there. Fuck! Yeah. Damn it! God! Yeah, he's kicking spread. the plane and punching yeah. the plane. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Grabs the gun. He leans Not out that. the window and goes, Fucker! <laughs> <laughs> just jumps out of the plane 
Yeah, he does. And without a parachute, mm -hmm. sky dives down, catches, catches, up, catches up, up, up to Patrick Swayze and, and grabs him on his back. And you hear Patrick Swayze go, what? Like, <laughs> Pull the shit, Booty! You are crazy! Pull the fucking show! Why don't you pull it? No games, Booty! Pull the cord now! Now nah, you pull it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're wrestling and fighting. Um, and, and it gets to a point where Patrick Swayze says he ain't going to pull his parachute because, yeah, yeah. because uh, Johnny Utah's got a gun in his hand. So Johnny Utah, if he wants to live and get his, get his man, he's got to either drop the gun and pull the parachute or shoot him and pull the parachute and he doesn't want to shoot them because they're kind of like friends and he wants to bring them in alive so he throws the gun away pulls the parachute and they land and crash and get legs all busted to hell and uh land in the middle of the damn desert and uh patrick swayze's guy comes along in a jeep and picks him up and they drive off and you think that's the end of the movie man because yeah they, they should end oh the movie what's there. the best what's the best quote oh the best line of the movie is you think it's over, okay? Yeah, like, you think it's kind of over. You think Patrick Swayze gives his girlfriend yeah. back to him, and you think Patrick Swayze is just going to ride off and be like, all right, they go their separate ways, and, and Patrick Swayze gets on the back of the Jeep and looks at Johnny, and all the dust is settling and everything, and he goes... Yo, Johnny! I'll see you in the next life! And then he starts riding off and the music is setting in. There's this like there's like this tense but like somber music yeah, playing that really thinks perfect. like that thinks like oh this is this is culminating, this is the end. Like such a good ending. But as you find out later on, or, or from earlier in the movie, as the story Bodie's telling in the movie is that he was waiting on the fifty year storm. Fifty year storm. What's that? That's kind of a legend. No, it's real. It's absolutely real. Everything moves in cycles. So twice a century, the ocean lets us know just how small we really are. A winter storm comes out of Antarctica, tearing up the Pacific. And it sends a huge swell north 2,000 miles. And when it hits Bells Beach, it'll turn into the biggest surf this planet has ever seen, and I will be there. Johnny Utah knows that Bodie ain't going to miss a 50-year storm. No. <laughs> what? No, you're doing perfect. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Johnny Utah knows he ain't gonna miss fifty year storm. So he shows no. up. He shows up. Just happens to be right at the moment where this perfect set of waves is coming along at Bell's Beach, Australia. Comes walking down Australia, these steps down to the beach of Australia, and you know Johnny Utah sees this Australian surfer guy There's walking one guy up. Standing one up guy, there. he sees this Australian surfer guy walking up, and he says, man, "Anybody been out there?" And the guy goes, "No, nah, man, you got nobody been out there. You gonna be fucking crazy to go out there, mate? No way." <laughs> word for word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Johnny Utah looks out there and gazes the beach, sees one man standing there just. He's got, this, he's got this, like, I don't know what you call cloak it. Cloak on. Cloak on. He's got like yeah. a cloak on, yeah. standing like a, there, just like stoic, staring at the water. Blanket, but like, I don't know, it's like... And he's just staring at the yeah, water. it's very cool looking scene. And uh, Johnny walks up to him and sees him, and he knows right away who it is. This fucking Bodie. Yeah. And uh, he walks up to him and goes... something bro lose something bro hey you lose something bro something yeah. like that something like and that Bodie turn you know says just waiting on my set just waiting for my set yeah waiting on his set of waves and he says special agent Utah I knew you'd find me here yeah then uh they go down to this you know little fight scene and they battle and fight and uh Johnny Utah gets a handcuff on him and handcuffs himself too so they're handcuffed to each other so Bodie ain't going nowhere. Um, and Bodie talks him down, though. Bodie says, come on, man. I, you know I ain't going to... There's cliffs on both sides, man. I ain't going to paddle to New Zealand, all right? You know I can't handle that cage, man. I can't handle that cage. Just let me go out there. Let me get one wave before you take me. One wave. Now, where am I going to go, man? 
cliffs on both sides. I'm not gonna paddle in New Zealand. My whole life has been about this moment, Johnny. Come on, compadre. Come on. <laughs> he just wants him to let him go and ride yeah. out into the sea. And uh, Johnny Utah just looks at him and he's like, and uh, unhooks him and lets him paddle out into the sea. And uh, big giant, like, what so fucking, these are 50 75 foot yeah waves. 70 yeah. foot wave comes down and he's riding this wave and then these other uh, fbi agents collapse in on utah that were staking them out and they yeah. go what the hell utah you let him go <laughs> you asshole back utah what do you think you're doing you let him go <laughs> you, that's so that is what he says exactly what the hell utah yeah you let yeah. him go well, we'll get him when he comes back in. And Utah just walks away and goes, he's not coming yeah, back. And he throws his he badge. He throws his badge into the water. And then the music that comes on is like... D -d 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 yeah, and you see you see this guy riding this wave, this big giant wave, yeah. and the wave just like crashes on top of him, and you're just led to believe, yeah, Bodie yeah, died. he died. He died in the water, and then you hear this music, it's Rat is the band. Rat. Oh, is that who it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah, it sounds just, like one of those songs. And then it just ends perfectly. So... I don't know. I don't know. We're going on 17 minutes here. Who's your mama? But, that's, that's where it, but, it's a good movie. It's a Smith Boys classic. I think it's just one of those movies that's been kind of a... Spoiler alert, I just gave you the whole movie. So Well, that's know. the re... I, but it, the movie's it, like 30 years old. So if you ain't seen it at this point, you can yeah. eat my ass, all right? But it, it's a five-star classic in my book. Yeah, it's, it's a, a Smith Boys action, classic. great action, early 90s movie with great... Uh, scenery and cinematography and, and just great filming, you know. Great, um, great. I, I don't want to say great dialogue, but um, because some of it's just like, Jesus, really? Someone wrote this? But then yeah. it's like, there's so many. The Bowie's character is fine. Like, Bo, the, whoever. Like, Patrick right, Swayze, I think, the, like, kind of did his own thing. The writing for Bodie's character is great because yeah, there's so perfect. many. All the quotable lines come from, from Bodie's character. Because yeah. he's a very, like, uh, zen, zen type yeah. character. And like you know, he's a surfer, so he's very zen and like yoga, yogi type guy, spiritual individual. So he's got a lot of philosophical type quotes that you just take with you going on. And then there's a lot of stupid quotes from um, uh, Gary Busey, yeah. you know, that it's just that you remember because it's just like so dumb and funny. Utah, uh, give me two. Yeah, you. It's, for some reason, that's like the biggest one everybody yeah. remembers is Utah. Give me two. He's like, I'm so hungry I could eat the ass end out of a dead rhino. I should have had you get me three of these things. I'm so hungry I could eat the ass end out of a dead rhino. I should have had you get me three of these things. Yeah. That's what he says. Um, that's a great movie, though. Instant Smith Mo Smith Boys classic. Yeah. That's um, why That's why we, we decided if we were going to do a movie review, that had to be the first one. I said that had to be the first one. Yeah. So. And it, it's a good choice because if you ain't seen it, then you should see it. And I would avoid the remake because they did. Oh, I don't, but don't They did remake it, what, five years ago? Uh, five, six, seven years five, ago. Five, six years, ago, years it, ago. It was remade. and um, Uchi Mama. But, but it wasn't really accurate to the original. Well, they tried to do something different. They tried it. to make it the same, but make it different, too, yeah. if that makes any sense. And uh, the acting's not as good, but the no. cinematography is pretty good. There's some cool scenes. I don't know, there's only one Bodie to me. Like, like it was yeah. per, like Patrick, you know. Patrick Swayze is, is the real Bodie, Bodie, and that's that. So, yeah. um, But if you haven't seen it, go see it, rent it, whatever. Check it out on, uh, I don't know, wherever the hell people stream shit nowadays. Yeah, you can find anywhere. it anywhere. Uh, great movie though. It's on TV here and here and there, and every yeah. every time it's on, five, five stars. It's one of them movies where every Two time you see up. it on TV, we Two gotta turn it on and watch it. So, hundred percent on um, Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, let us if you've seen it, let us know what you think about it down in the comments. If you haven't seen it, you know, give us some other movie reviews that you might want. to Yeah, see give us so. some suggestions. All right, and we'll watch it and review it. Yeah. Until then, Smith Boys. See you out. Yeah.